Good morning, Davao. Good morning, Mindanao. Good morning, North, South, East, and West. This is Gilbert Lopez Marti Cazzo. For the headlines, weather forecast, easterly east affecting Mindanao. Local news, expedite Davao Airport management transfer. Consulta package worth 8,000 for heat stroke patients. Double light announces power interruption in cities south north. UP Mindanao, MD, program to address law doctor to patient ratio in Mindanao. National news Marcus vows to support planting of 100 million coconut trees. Philippine hits China over unverifiable fabricated recordings. International news. RFK JR in Ruba's health despite brain worst worm scare says campaign. Half of Gaza water sites damaged or destroyed, BBC Satellite's data reveals. Entertainment News Kendrick Lamar's beef with Drake's and J. Cole explained. Running Man Philippines races to Season 2 this May. Sports News Naturalization process starts for Gilas Filipinas prospects, Benny both right in Senate. You feel like a god, the anatomy of a knockout. Featured stories, celebrity ship Alexandra Macias' favorite ways to enjoy Marcel during the Olympics and beyond. Ren Galina's journey, to post and near Pulitzer win. Side story and trivia. Do you know that Davao City is a shopper's paradise? Weather forecast. Mindanao will be partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers or thunderstorms due to easterly localized thunderstorms. Light to moderate winds from east to the northeast with slight to moderate seas. Local news. Dabo City Councilor Al Ryan Alejandre bared that the 20th City Council has passed a resolution urging the Department of Transportation, DOTR, to expedite the transfer of management of Francisco Bangoy International Airport from the Civil Aviation Authority Philippines, Davao, Kaap Davao, to the International Airport Authority, DIAA. Alejandro, who chairs the committee, on tourism and beautification, said during the media interview on Tuesday morning, May 7, 2024, at the Sangguniang Panglungsod, that the Council endorsed the resolution proposed by Councillor Bernie al -Ag. The resolution aims to push DOTR Secretary Jaime Bautista to hasten the turnover process, which has been ongoing since 19 or 2019 without completion by 2024. He emphasized 
that stakeholders rightfully expressed concerns about airport's facilities given the 200 terminal fee that they pay. Alejandro highlighted that once the authority transferred is finalized, the IAA will have autonomous control, allowing terminals fees to directly fund airport improvements. The councillor expressed expectations for the transition to conclude by December 2024, involving a series of operational changes. Bill Health Davao said that patient who experienced heat stroke and exhaustion can now avail of a consultation package worth 8,000. Clea Gail D. Guevara, Public Relations Officers at the Public Affairs Unit of PhilHealth Davao, said during the Kapihan sa Davao on Monday, May 7, 2024, at SM Echoland that if someone needs to be rushed or admitted to the hospital due to heat stroke or exhaustion, PhilHealth will cover their expenses. Gibara clarified that they have varied package rates and the 8,450 is for the people admitted or hospitalized because of heat, stroke, and exhaustion. However, Gibara stressed that prevention is still better than cure does. People must avoid staying outdoors for too long, especially during stream temperatures. She added that if they are already experiencing a symptoms of heat stroke, they must immediately go to the nearest hospital to get checked. Double Light and Power Company, Incorporated, announces its scheduled power interruption affecting some parts of the city south and city north of Davao areas starting May 9 to 10, 2024 to conduct maintenance activity. Some parts of San Isidro Street, San Antonio Street, Santa Rosa Street, San Vicente Street, San Juan Street, Santa Clara Street, San Rafael Street, San Francisco Street, San Nicolas Street, San Jose Street, Skyline and Subdivision, Catalunan Grande will experience power interruption starting at 9 a.m. up to 5 p.m. on May 9. Meanwhile, some parts of the Tulip Drive, Matina Crossing, Davao City will have a power cut off from 6 a.m to 2 p.m. on the same day. The University of Southern Philippines The University of the Philippines system, UP system, through UP Mindanao, is set to institutionalize the first state universities, doctors of medicine, MD, program in Dabo City in the academic year 2025 to 2026 aiming to address the low doctor-to-population ratio in the island. Despite the big improvement in a physician-to-patient ratio, the Dabo City Health Office CHO said that each health district stands a 1 to every 5,000 or 50,000 in 2022 compared to 200,000 people tallied in previous years. This will be the priority of the National Comprehensive University in the country committed to helping the social and health care needs of not just the Dabawanyas but also the Mindanawan community by bringing the UP Philippine General Hospital, UP PGH, level up to the top tier medical system, clinical research, and to provide cutting-edge technology to the island. National News President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. has reiterated his commitment to fully support efforts that aim to plant or to plant 100 million coconut trees which can make the country the world's top exporter of coconut. Marcos presided over meeting over a meeting with the private sector advisory council agriculture sector group PSAC-ASG 
on Wednesday, May 8, 2024, where they discussed recommendations on the development of the coconut industry and other agricultural products. PSAC Agriculture Sector Group members Christopher Pu of Century Pacific Group raised the need to accelerate the launch of the massive coconut tree planting program by increasing the said nut productions. The Department of Foreign Affairs, DFA, warned on Thursday, May 9, 2024, against falling for say against falling for false narratives of China on what it claims as the new model of arrangement in the Ayung Jen Shoal in the West Philippine Sea. The DFA cautions against falling for false narratives resorting to tactics such as releasing unverifiable recordings of supposed conversations with Philippine officials could demonstrate efforts to sow discord and confusions among Philippine agencies and the Filipino public. It said in a statement amid the reported release of alleged transcript and audio recording of the conversation between the Philippine military official and a China diplomat concerning the Ayung Jin Shoal. The DFA reminded that diplomats should strictly adhere to the 1961 Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relation, BCR, particularly Article 41, which states that it is the duty of all persons to respect the law and regulations of the receiving state. They also have a duty not to interfere in the internal affairs of that state. International News U.S. Presidential Candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. says he is in robust health following reports that he suffered from a brain parasite more than a decade ago. The New York Times reported that Mr. Kennedy also previously suffered from mercury poisoning and heart problem. Mr. Kennedy has made health a key part of his campaign. He has contrasted his physical fitness with that of Joe Biden and Donald Trump. Hundreds of Gaza's water and sanitation facilities have been damaged and destroyed since Israel began military action against Hamas. Satellite analysis by BBC Verify has found damage to a major supplies depot has also severely disrupted repairs. The lack of clean waters and flows of untreated sewage pose a serious threat to health, says aid agencies. The Israel Defense Forces told the BBC that Hamas cynically exploits civilians' infrastructures for terror purposes. The destructions came or comes despite Israel's duty to protect critical infrastructure under the rules of war, unless there is evidence sites are being used for military reasons, say human rights lawyers. Entertainment news. Rappers have been traded or trading insults since the dawn of hip-hop. Rappers have been trading insults since the dawn of hip-hop. It's part of the culture, a test of lyrical skills and a declaration of superiority that has produced hundreds of classics, death tracks, from Tupac's hit, Imap to Jay-Z, take over. The latest beef has erupted between three of hip-hop's biggest stars, Drake, 
Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole and was triggered by a seemingly in occasions lyrics praising their respective careers. Who will bring the most competitive spirit in these seasons and be deserving of the title Ultimate Runner? Just Keep Running Man, the most watched reality game shows on Philippine TV in 2022. Running Man Philippines is back on GMA Network for a more hilarious, entertaining, and fun-filled season. Returning to the show beginning May 11 and 12, our Capuso star Michael Dais, Glyce Di Castro, Lexi Gonzalez, Bubuy Villar, Kukoy De Santos, Angel Guardian, and the newest addition to the session or to the season's runner, Miguel Tan Felix. For the sports, if the citizenship bill poses true, Benny Boatwright will be the latest enforcement of Gilas Filipinas along with Justin Brownlee, Angie Comey, and Jordan Clarkson. The 27-year-old forward who helped the San Miguel Beerman claim the PBA Season 48 Commissioner's Cup Championship previously said it was a no-brainer to become a part of the Gilas Filipinas naturalized player pool. On Monday, Senator Sami Angara filed Senate Bill No. 2646, which sought to grant citizenship to be 37-year-old both right. The 68-year-old made his professional boxing debut as a teenager, but is most famous for steering Ricky, the Hitman Hatton, through his glory years. As he watches from ringside, he sees where the punches land, but also in the innermost thoughts behind them. Fighter might say they don't want to hurt their opponent, but let me tell you, when you're in there, you do. He says, you absolutely do. You want to knock them out. You want to keep hitting them until they drop. So they'll stop hitting you and you can get out of the of that hellhole. Featured stories. Michelin star Chef Alexandra Mazia will be a torch bearer when a Paris 24, 2024 Olympics kicks off in his hometown of Marseille. Of Marseille. He is his guide to the city from sunset to seafoods. A salt dry city and a gateway to the south of France, Marseille thrives on fusions of cultures, flavors, and colliding landscapes. The city's seafaring tradition date back to the ancient Greeks, and life still concentrates around the old port on tight cobbled streets. In summer 2024, the Paris Olympic Games descend on Marshall, the pristine Rocas Blanc Marina is set to host Olympic sailing, windsurfing and kite surfing, while footballers will face off at the nearby 67,000 seat stead bully drum. Masaya is set to serve as an Olympic torchbearer on May 8th runs his avant-garde modern French restaurant. I'm on quiet lay in between the two venues, along with his popular lunch, lunchtime food, trucks Michel, 
pair arm. Serving brochets, fries and chicken brochets. Three Filipinas have been named as finalists in the 2024 Pulitzer Prize, the most prestigious award giving body for journalism and art globally. Among them is Ren Galino, the double based visual artist for the story Searching for Maura by the Washington Post under the Illustrated Reporting and Commentary category. The narrative builds into the experiences of Igorot woman Maura and her tribe members brought to the 1904 World Wars of uh, World's Fair in St. Louis, America. She collaborated with Washington Post reporters Claire Haley and Filipino-American Nicole Dunca. For the side stories, let's watch this. For the trivia, do you know that Davao City is a shopper's paradise? From high-end malls to local markets, shoppers can find a wide variety of goods, including locals, handicrafts, and souvenirs. That's all our news for today. Please like, share, subscribe, and click the bell button for you to be updated on the Pinoy Rab Davao News Channel. This is Gilbert Lopez Martí Cacho. Good morning. Good morning.